Right, so today is 18th of April. For some of us, the 2020-2021 season has just a couple of months to be over. What a crazy season has been. And still, we can feel happy and blessed that we got to at least be in the studio and film some sort of performances that can be streamed online. For some of the dancers, this situation is even worse. Not being able to be in a studio and what to say about all the ballet students having to do the graduation year from home. Looking for a job from home, sending their videos to companies that are filmed in a bedroom or living room with no space to actually dance. Or if you are one of the lucky people that is with a company in a studio, this year has been a huge challenge as well. Having to prove your worth with no performances, trying to stay in shape and show some signs of improvement so you can get your contract renewed for the next season. Today, I would like to talk to you about success and try to bring some clarity for you in this moment of uncertainty. Every time I have to make a decision, I ask myself two important questions. Why do I do what I do? And what really matters for me? For example, every time I renew my contract with the theater, my thought process is, why, I, why do I want to stay in this company? And to answer this, I need to look at what am I dancing, if I feel challenged in the situation, and if I feel like I have the chance to improve. And once I have that answer, I go to my second question. Does it really matter to me? So I like what I do and why I do it, but is it important for me? Is this project good for my life goals? Does it bring me closer to what I want to be in the future? If I can really answer yes to these questions, then I feel like it's a good decision to make for me. Of course, there are other things I take into consideration, but this is what really matters to me. This is what defines success for me. Some of you might tell me now, but Sergio, my goal is not to be challenged. My goal is to become a principal dancer or get to Royal Ballet or make a lot of money. And I say, perfect. Everyone has a different goal in life. And this is what brings me to my second point. There is not a clear definition of success. I understand for, that for some of you, being successful is to become Marianela Nunez or Valdi Muntagirov. But maybe for them, become a ballet star was never the goal. And what defines success for them, maybe, it was to dance in London or dance Macmillan choreographies. Of course, I can just talk for myself and I have no idea what their goals are. In my case, becoming a principal dancer has been a tool, not the goal. When I was a kid, I always dreamed to become a principal dancer and dance in the biggest stages in the world. But as I grew older, I realized that what I really wanted to do was to become the best version of myself and impact as many people as I can on my way. Becoming a principal dancer was the tool that gives me the chance to meet my goals. Having said that, if I would get the chance to dance somewhere else, where I will be a member of the Corps de Ballet, but I will dance a lot of things that challenge me as a dancer and as a person, then I will take it because in that situation, I will still feel like I'm doing what defines success for me. If you still have doubts of what I'm saying, and I will, then I will ask you one last question. Are you looking for what success is for you? Or are you trying to do what other people think success means? Jim Carrey said, I think everyone should get rich and famous and do everything they ever dream of so they can see that is not the answer. Success as happiness and fulfillment is something that we have to find and define by ourselves. That is the only way we can do it, that we can do it. and that is the way the greatest people do it. So I think this was an important, me an important message for all of you and for myself as well. We are living in a crazy situation, but the future is still in our hands. We can't control a global pandemic, but we can become the best versions of, of ourselves every day. Find what success really means for you and go for it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.